Hey guys, Wave Function here, and we're going to take a look at Shadowcraft and how to use it and uh, what are its advantages. So, uh, a lot of times you'll see on the guide, uh, you'll go to the forums and you'll look to try and make a gearing decision. You'll go to something like a uh, really good one here is this one by Versity, and you know, you'll run through this and you'll be looking at these tables here with these stat ratings and and trying to figure out you know what you should be gearing towards and stuff like that and it's all meaningless to you if you don't know what all these uh, these numbers mean you just say oh this one's higher than that one I'll get that but um, without getting into the math one of the easy ways to do it is go to a spreadsheet program like Shadowcraft uh, that's a nice web front end and you just uh, you just type in your character name and any server and your region here you can choose your different region and then just uh, click begin and what it'll do is it'll import your character from the armory and uh, if you ever have a problem with importing or something like that or or it's got some old data or something like that you can just go right here and click clear all saved data if it gets funky and, and it'll clear everything out and, and re-import it uh, really quick and easy but as you can see there's a lot of stuff on here you can uh, see all your your ratings and stuff like that and how much you're over the cap that's what red means and if this was red that means I'm over the cap but uh as you can see you got all these different stat weights on the side and that's where they get this stuff from is uh, not necessarily from this program there's another one called uh, uh, simulation craft which has a, a rogue module that can spit out these numbers too but um, I mean you've got all the different stats even has the the uh, stat weighting for your main hand DPS and that's the the DPS rating on the uh, right on the on the tooltip for the weapon but uh, it can give you uh, the the DPS uh, approximation for the different uh, two pieces and four piece sets and stuff like that but one of the really things useful is you can see uh, kind of a, a time graph so whenever you change something over here you got a DPS number and if you change something like um, say you upgrade to a uh, different uh, slot you can see what kind of difference that's going to make and if you don't like the change or whatever you can always just click on it and it, it reverts that change As you can see we've got the will weave arm bands again so it's really easy and it gives you a couple notices like uh, you know I still haven't gotten an attacker upgrade for my offhand thank God that that's not really important as you can see it's really low uh, rating for offhand DPS It's basically a stat stick for assassination but um, anyway it will give you a couple notices sometimes you'll see uh, error dispatch or something like that uh, that means uh, for some reason uh, it's got some kind of error sometimes it just be because you don't have a dagger in the main hand because dispatch requires a dagger in the main hand of course well, it's not like you're gonna be using mutilate either but uh, anyway uh, one of the quick easy ways to uh, to go about um, changing things is uh, just auto reforge just like most uh, online reforges so uh, it'll go through and, and use your stat weightings uh, stat ratings and and look uh, try to optimize your, your reforging automatically Wow, that's actually pretty slow hope my internet's not going out all right hey there we go see it's as you can see reforging everything I've got you know an extra 240 DPS uh, as you can see reforging is not that big of a deal uh, big a deal as everybody makes it out to be uh, and then of course you can optimize gems uh, looks like I'm already optimal so I guess that's good yay yay for me um, you can go in here and you can actually uh, it actually pulls in so like I have a com combat all spec uh, you can click on your imported specs that you already have or you can use the, the stock ones so like this is the stock assassin everybody likes shadow focus because it's a it's the best DPS so uh, but I like my speed so uh, like my night stalker oh oh there's a bug <laughs> unless I actually uh, I don't think I spec to uh, spec out a night stalker I like it but uh, you can see these little lines here uh, will have like kind of when it's working right uh, there'll be like a line that will show like the DPS um, increase for for using that uh, 
for that talent or that glyph or whatnot. And there's supposed to be a ranking here, but uh, I guess that's not working right now. Uh, you know, it's always in development, so there's always something that maybe not be working right. But uh, you can go in here uh, on the settings and, and change up different things for your settings and stuff like that. Uh, generally, I wouldn't advise messing with any of this stuff uh, unless you know what you're doing. Just uh, kind of leave leave it as is. I, if I got a little error. It says choose anticipation. There we go. Yeah, anticipation, huge DPS increase. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't want to miss out on that one. But uh, you can go in here and change different settings like uh, the different buffs that you have in your specific raid comp. You can you can remove the ones that you don't have. So like uh, like I don't ever use agility class because I'm a casual baddie, and I don't ever use combat potions again because I'm bad. So you can see the, the difference that that makes. It's those two buffs, you know, it's huge, pretty big. That's like seven percent. But uh, you know you can change like say you don't have uh, whatever you don't have a ten percent attack power in your raid comp. You can see uh, you know you might want to click that so you can get a more representative PvP mode. Uh, basically that gives you that'll change your expertise cap so you can go back uh, and click this and uh, and then you reforge right here and it'll, uh, it'll change your reforge cap and all that stuff like that and. Uh, and it'll start waiting PvP power. I, I don't believe that it's got the gems in here right, so like uh, it's over waiting. Last time I checked, it was. Oh, there's not even showing. Oh, it looks like they fixed it. Okay. Did they fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it looks like they fixed the gems. Uh, before it was, look, it was showing like 160. PV power instead of the 80 power. Uh, but it looks like they fixed it. But anyway. Um, so that's the PvP mode. It actually assumes 65% resilience, I believe. It, you know, like turn it off. It should do ridiculous. You know, like 40% more DPS. So, yeah, that's about right. So, anyway. Uh, you can go in here and mess around. Oh, let me see here. So to manually change stuff, you can always reforge stuff manually. So you can go in here and choose which stat you want to get rid of, choose which stat you want to reforge to. So like say I want to get rid of mastery rating and add in haste. And as you can see it shows the relative DPS. Red is bad of course, so we're going to do something bad. You can also go in here and you can change the uh, the gems, uh, like that's the meta gem, and here's a regular gem, and you, of course you can see the DPS comparison uh, approximation right there, and adds in the socket bonus right there. And for items with uh, with enchants, uh, there's also uh, where you can choose the enchant and stuff like that. So like it automatically got my tired claw. You know, if I was a was that inscription? If I was in uh, a scribe, then I would be able to choose that. Uh, you can choose it, but uh, even without having the the uh, the profession, as you can see uh, here, it actually imports your profession, so it'll automatically. Uh, but it uh, one thing to note is it it actually doesn't block you from <laughs> choosing the profession bonus, even though. Uh, you obviously can't have it if you don't have the profession, so uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, you can also change some things, like say you're doing the, you know, checking out for PvP. You can figure out what's the DPS loss we're going with wound poison or something like that. As you can see, it's about about 10% DPS loss. Uh, and you can change your utility poison. Uh, obviously, the only one that really matters is least people. The only reason why that that is really included is because sometimes some uh, trinket effects and stuff can actually proc off of leeching poison or, or one of your other poisons so that's why that's there. Uh, Epic gems not really applicable right now. You can uh, show all the upgrades on the uh, on the uh, thing here so it would show like each one of these items would have a 0 out of 2 upgrade, 1 out of 2, 2 out of 2 and you can see them all like lined up in comparison. Let me show you how that looks. 
hopefully this will work right. So bring this back up, yeah. So you can see, you know, like this is better than the 2.2 version of this, which is the 1.2, you know, you can see them all compared like side by side with all the different upgrade permutations. Uh, it's really gonna blow up that tooltip, but uh, it's good if you're you're looking to see which, which items you wanna upgrade. Uh, it's really useful right now uh, if you're trying to figure out what specific items. Uh, there's a couple other things like, you, you know, if you do tricks on cooldown, uh, if you're receiving tricks on cooldown, how much that's going to, you know, all these different little things. You can uh, say you you don't, you don't uh, raid or anything except for LFR. Well, the highest level of gears you're going to get is 522. So you can go in here and, and, and click the maximum high level and then you have a better choice of like what your actual upgrade is going to be like and instead of having to see all those other things you can say oh I've got the best in slot for for non-normal non hero non rating uh, just some little things to, to help you out but uh, that's the uh, oh here's oh, this is another thing you can you can change your profession so like say I, I wanted to drop engineering I want to see if blacksmithing would be better so I can go in here and, and change the blacksmithing and and see if that extra socket is going to how much that how much of a difference that's going to make you know and you know you can always go back and work revert your changes and change things switch things up it gets too convoluted just go here click clear all save data click ok and you're back to the regular old standard default settings uh, as you can see all all the buffs are back here and everything like that so uh, it's easy to just go through change a whole bunch of stuff and and just do a whole bunch of scenarios and and, and see what you like see what you don't like uh, and um, and see how much of a dif difference it makes uh, really really informative I, I found this DPS number to be within you know, around 10 percent uh, of what I can what I personally can can attain uh, fairly reliably so uh, it, it's fairly accurate um, so like if you're seeing an, an item that that you know whatever some upgrade or something like that that, that gives you like 2,000 more DPS and and you're looking at it and say oh yeah that's a that's a really great upgrade I should go for it well uh, you know also gotta remember you know there is error in in some of this stuff so you know I would you know uh, always you know use a critical critical eye when looking at at results and, and making sure that that it makes sense if you see something that's just really odd and you, you're like that can't be right well it it may not be right uh, you, you've got to to look at the tool and use it as a tool the way it is and it's not always going to be right just because the computer is doing it does not mean it's always going to spit out the right number that's called garbage in garbage out so you know if something's set up wrong then it, it's going to come out wrong so you always got to keep an eye on that for the most part if you don't mess around too much you know just just you know go in here you get a whole bunch of new gear and you just you just want to look and find out what the optimal reforge is or something closely approximating what the optimal reforge is then um, then you can just click on that and then just you know tab tab out from the game and, and, and reforge and then you know tab back to the game and set up your reforges and you can see you know reforging really especially after you know you cap your hit and uh, and your expertise for uh, for combat and subtlety it's really not that big of a deal um, uh, especially you know just capping expertise on all the specs it really isn't that big of a deal um, you know after you get those things that's going to be most of your you know benefit from reforging uh, anything beyond that is I mean we're, we're talking about look I did a reforge here and it gave me you know approximately 240 DPS uh, that's out of a hundred thousand DPS so I mean that's what, that's what 0 0.2 percent DPS increase so yeah it's not that big of a deal uh, a lot of people tend to overrate uh, reforging but uh, so you know you get you got to weigh that again. It's, it's going to cost you you know what 200 100 gold to reforge everything to to get you know 200 DPS so you know to get 0.2 percent more DPS uh, you know it's up to you to make that decision but uh, this is how the tool works, uh, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the guide, and uh, 
see you guys later